What's up guys, it's Jason from Grill Your Ass Off. Today we're gonna show you a little bonus recipe. As y'all saw the other day, we made this boudin Cajun dip. I'm gonna use it to make some jalapeno poppers. Let's get down here on the cutting board and get started. All right guys, we got our two jalapenos. We got our leftover boudin Cajun dip. We got four strips of bacon. First things first, we are going to Pop the tops of our jalapenos, get them out of the way. We're gonna slice these guys lengthways down and fold them open like that right there. Next thing we're gonna do is take a spoon. We're gonna get these seeds out to make room for our boudin dip. All right guys, we got our seeds out of the way so we can take this. Next thing we're gonna do is take our leftover boudin dip, fill these guys up. Now if you wanna make them hotter, you can leave some seeds in. You can mix some seeds in with this dip right here. You can add more cheese if you want to. You can add some of the spices to it, whatever you wanna do. But this, I'm telling you, will be more than enough to make a perfect Cajun jalapeno popper. All right, we got our four little jalapeno boats made. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bacon, we're gonna wrap it, and then we are gonna stick a toothpick through it. So let's go ahead and grab our toothpicks out. Separate our bacon. I'll stick our toothpick through right there just to hold that bacon in place as these things cook. Today it is about 110 degrees outside in wonderful central Texas, so we are actually gonna be cooking these things inside. Which is perfectly fine, because we do have hickory smoked bacon right here, so we will have that smoky taste already in it. As well, we do have our whiskey smoked sea salt inside of this dip, which will also bring you an amazing smoky taste to it. You can also see I'm using some thinner sliced bacon. That's because our dip is already made. We just wanna soften up that jalapeno some, get that dip nice and warm. It's already at room temperature. Get this bacon nice and crispy. So you get a good crunch with the jalapeno whenever you bite through this thing. And these things will be absolutely amazing. Also, whenever y'all are looking for bacon, try and find a nice even size all the way down. It'll make life whenever you're doing stuff like this a whole lot easier. Especially whenever you make the shotgun pork shots that are in 40 good ass recipes. All right, we got these four seasoned up, or wrapped up. I'm gonna take a glove off so I have a clean hand. We're gonna take our infidel pork rub and season these bad guys. Uh, Anyone who's watched the channel knows that infidel pork rub on bacon is the greatest thing in the world, without a doubt. So anytime we cook bacon here, that grill your ass off, there's a 99% chance it's gonna have infidel on it. It's a brown sugar chipotle rub, and it is absolutely wonderful on pork, fish, even on beef. All right, we got these seasoned up. We're gonna throw these inside of the toaster oven at 350 until the bacon is nice and crispy. We'll see y'all over there. All right guys, as you can see, we got it set to 350. We have this set on grill, and then I just currently have it set to 40 minutes because we're gonna let it go for a little bit. Come back, check it, make sure it is good to go. We're gonna place these guys to where they do not drip on our heating elements, but make sure they're nicely spaced apart. We'll see you in a few. All right guys, these are just finishing up right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing off. They took right at about uh, 12 minutes. 
We got the bacon sizzling. I don't know if you guys can hear that through here. Paul, how are these looking? They look good. Easy, don't burn yourself. Thank you for the commentary. Oh, we got a fat one right here. Ooh. Right, just jizzed on the plate a little bit. Fatty. So, you guys can see that right there. We're gonna let these sit and rest for about 10 minutes so Paul doesn't burn his mouth. We'll see y'all then. All right, guys, he's just finished up resting. I'm gonna pull this toothpick out. We're gonna slice it in half. Paul and myself are gonna share this. We got uh, some people over later, so we're gonna save the rest. So, cheers, Paul. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Mm. You get your spice. The boudin dip in here is just From phenomenal. the Cajun, the Infidel, the boudin, cream cheese is nice and mm. creamy. Uh, I'm totally happy swallowing this. Very good. All right, guys, if you want a cream pie that's guaranteed to make everyone in your family swallow, check out this recipe. And if you want the Cajun boudin dip, check out the link above or below this video. Cheers, y'all. Oh, yeah.